Hey guys, welcome back to the B&B server where I'm looking for spider's eyes. Uh, so we have a, an amazing new blaze spawner in the nether, which I'm sure I will show you at some point during this episode. I've come out in the middle of the night and Blunty's online. That's all right, day's coming. Um, so yeah, because I'm looking for a, a spider spawner, I've come outside to do some Minecraft magics. Um, and if I can dig myself a small hole, I should be able to demonstrate said magics. Um, so some of you may know about x-ray machines and you may also know that a lot of the x-ray machines got broken in 1.7. Um, now this has left us with a bit of a problem because obviously, oh, not like that, uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of caves and stuff stay hidden inside, uh, quicker, uh, inside the rock and that that's rubbish for when you want to completely lock down the uh entire spawn rate of an area and like you know take control of where where things are there we go that's what i'm looking for hey look at that you can see my branch mining down there you see um, lustrous stuff over that way up oh, there's charles worthy and some um, little water run yeah it's nice but unfortunately i don't really see much in way of spawners. I see an awful lot of darkness here. What we got on the go here? Um, maybe it's worth getting down there. But yeah, as I say, I'm on. I'm on the lookout for a, a spider spawner um, because <coughs> uh, potion. Well, splash potions of harming. Basically, uh, we, we've got a, a nice little crusher at the bottom of the blaze spawner that that obviously crushes them down to like a couple of hearts. Well, it crushes them down to half a heart. Um, but you you want to finish them all in a, in a quick manner and when you've got something on order of what 60 70 mobs uh, you really really want to uh, be able to kill them in one go without having to smash them all the time uh, another thing I want to show you guys is we have a protest group as you can see some people have decided that using Charles Worthy and in such manners there he is uh, is is slavery um, as you, yeah cruelty to slimes free the slime uh, yeah, these signs were placed here as a silent protest uh, to, uh, uh, aimed to end sli slime, blah, 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 slime cruelty and all forms of fla slavery. Um, this is a front for the Charles Worthy and Liberation community. Now, I have no idea who's part of that. Um, so, we're going to have to keep our ear to the ground, find out who these people are, um, and when we find out who they are, crush them in merciless grip of, like, the industrial spirit that that this was made in possibly enslave them to uh some sort of ooh so i don't know i don't know what i'm going to make them do but something fitting and slave like <laughs> so whilst we're here let's find a hole somewhere i hope uh last year doesn't mind me just digging a small patch on his ground he's normally a very reasonable chap let's go over this way you can see people have been building like we've got the uh, the christmas tree over here um, this is actually Christmas tree mark too, because obviously we can't have anything nice on a public server like this without someone coming along and trying to burn it. Um, but you know, this 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 is all got fixed and it's all fine. So yeah, that, that's awesome. All right, let's dig a hole here and see what we can see. What we can see. I should imagine not a great deal. And now the trick is to um, have your head outside of the box when you place it uh, and unfortunately that happens a lot of the times uh, I haven't quite what well, I know where the, the, the trigger is I know where I'm supposed to be doing it unfortunately whoa oh have I got admin fly up oh, let's turn this back off people people think oh that's amazing you can admin and stuff like that no it's inconvenient because when you're trying to play survival you know, oh, I want to just do this quick, and then you end up jumping up, and you just you just feel like you're cheating. Um, also, it gets in the way when you feel like you've done this right. There we go. Oh wow, blackness. Oh, this is going to take some proper exploration to find out, isn't it? I what well, I, I think I'm going to uh, go around and do this a few times. Um, and if I don't find anything, we're probably going to jump back in at the blaze spawner and I'll be like, hey, look at this. So I spent the night hiding out on top of the Cypher's uh, little desert garden place, mainly because there's just too many monsters for me to get over that way. Look at that pillar over there. That's where I'm heading. 
Um, so, hey guys, uh, sorry it's been so long from the last take. Uh, it's been so long that the entirety of the Christmas holidays have happened and my computer blew up. That's why I might sound a little different to how I did just about a minute ago on the video. Uh, I'm sorry if that is indeed the case of what's been going on, uh, if that is indeed the case of what's going on, if I sound too tinny or whatever, um, but you know, that's just the way it's gonna have to be until I can get this fixed. Oh look, all the burning bad guys are after me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I found a spider spawner, which is what's underneath that pillar there. Um, as luck would have it, it wasn't um, anything to do with using my x-ray or anything like that. I just happened to have been, well, to be honest, I'd given up looking for it. Uh, I was just off doing a bit of uh, mining and exploration, and I happened to just have stumbled across it. So if we jump down this uh, nice little drop hole I've made myself here, Oh, that's lovely. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, like, it wasn't something that I ran... Ooh. Ooh. Where is he? Did you hear him? I hear him. Uh, let's get this block on my on my bar, and then I can go off looking for him. Because um, whilst it's nice to have spiders, I don't really want them right now. Um, that's something I want for later. Oh, maybe they're up there. I know, he sounds close, and if he drop, jumps me during this next little talk... And that, that's going to be a shame. So, hi, spawner thing. Yeah. Um, what are my plans for this? Well, my plans for this are to surround it in a representation of the spider's head. It's rather hard to see him when he's spinning around so fast. Um, yeah, a representation of the spider's head to uh, have... <laughs> thank you, uh, Harley. To have the spiders spawning inside of. Um, now, I did mark this out to be the boundary of the spawnable space. Uh, at least that's what I hoped it was. Uh, and now that I've gone and checked on the wiki, I'm one shot. So what we're going to do is move this diagonal out, and then we can plop this down like this, just so that I know how far out I need to make my clear area. Because obviously we need to have um, a spawn area that's as a spawn rate that's as high as possible, else, you, you know, it's just a waste of resources, right? Um, so what else needs to be taken into consideration while building this? Well, if there are more than six mobs within a 17 by 9 area, that is quite a large area, but 17 by 9, which I presume is just sort of eight off in every direction. Um, I know that's only 16, but like one one wall. Ooh, ooh. But anyway, if there's more more than six mobs, I believe the, the internet said, within that area, then this thing will just shut down and stop working. Um, so what we need to f figure out is a spot for me to stand that keeps this triggered, but also will filter all the spiders round to, I don't know, just in front of me or something, and keep this away. Now, I know that the, the triggering for this is something like 19 blocks, or at least that's what it used to be. Um, so maybe I can stand just inside the trigger distance and have the spiders just outside the trigger distance, um, all obviously flowing with water buckets because, you know, what else are you going to use to move mobs about? Um, I'd also like to try and figure out some way of stopping spiders climbing up the walls and stuff. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to just have to be because of, um, like, not just because, uh, whether I'm going to achieve this by keeping a distance out and around. Um, or whether I'm going to have like ice on the walls. I don't know if spiders can climb ice. Uh, there's a lot of things I would need to figure out. But first things first, I need to make a hell of a lot of a bigger space around this. So I'm going to spend a lot of time, I think, digging out walls. I'm going to drop the floor down four. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop the floor down four. Because every time that I build one of these before, um, I always forget to like allow for jump height and stuff like that. And then monsters will get caught on the back edge or they'll spawn on top. Which means I'm going to have to put something on top. Probably chain, um, iron fencing, uh, masquerading as chain. I always like the look of that, so we'll probably go with that. Uh, if, in fact, if I had any on me, I'd show you. But I don't, so I won't. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think... I think that in, that is everything that I intend to do here. So I'm going to make a, a great big hole, possibly 12 by 12, well, 12 out from every direction, just so so I've got something to work with, um, and then five up and down. 
yeah. So once I've dug that massive hole, I will get back to you about how I'm going to um, siphon them around and kill them. All right. Hey guys, so while I was over here, I thought I'd show you the whole point of why I'm building the spider spawner. So first off, before I can do that, I've got to show you this play spawner because this is kind of what it's all about. Um, Mick numbers follow his name, Mick. I can't remember the numbers, but you know, uh, Mick built all this. Uh, it's quite quite nice. Um, as you can see, there are a few hang up points, but me and him have had a, a, a few discussions about how to fix this, and um, hopefully we'll get round to, to, to doing that. We're literally just another, um, you see there's like pressure plate uh, repeater pistons to, to push everything in. Um, so yeah, uh, it just should just be able to put another line up on top to knock all these guys down into the hole below. Now the reason that we would do that is if I grab this splash potion, and these splash potions are indeed almost the entire reason for doing the uh, the spider spawner, um, because of this pile of stuff down here. Okay, so if we open this, let them fall and close it up again. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that they're all very, very quiet. Uh, I've recorded this once before, and oh my god, these guys are so noisy. I literally could not speak over the top of them. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, you, you you close this little collection port up underneath, and then you throw this and count to, well, I count to 17. And I'm sorry, guys, you're actually going to have to sit and listen to me count to 17, because I, I, I don't think I can keep track of how many ticks have gone by and talk to you at the same time. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's good enough. And then with a single splash potion from all the way back here, no closer, because it will hurt you as well. You get this. There you go. Oh, it's all green and yellow and sparkly and stuff, and I can't even see what's going on. Um, and once these clear, all right, awesome. And then we get all these. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to get myself a silk touch book. Give me a left up there. That's a lot. Um, you'll also notice these uh, these torches here. That's there because um, more than once now I've come down to find a zombie pigman has spawned in there. And you, you crush him and you throw the splash potion and you come up here and suddenly there's nothing but bad pigmen trying to kill you. Uh, so this will probably lead to me... Oh, hello, can't get up here. This will probably lead to me half slabbing the entire area so that, that no pigmen are around. Uh, do I have a book on me? I do. So now we can spend forever trying to find level 15 on here. Uh, it's, it's another thing... I, oh, 14 wasn't good enough. Uh, it's another thing I should try and do is um, put in a... Uh, not programmable, a level selectable enchantment table so that I can go straight to level 15 without all this mucking about. Uh, why level 15 you ask? Well it is indeed the highest chance per level of experience spent, ah oh, 16 is close enough, of getting um, silk touch book which is definitely what I'm after. Right I'm breaking. As you can see from this particular chest here I've been doing this for a little bit now looting and bre breaking three. There we go. I got in a looting book, that, that's good. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to get that up to a high level looting, so once I've done that... Hello? Hello, these guys want to be my friend! Uh, what was I saying? Looting sword! So that we can go around outside here. Any blaze out here at the moment? No. Uh, so we can go around outside here, um, not cross the bridge that Forrest built, but go wandering over that way and hopefully find a whole load of wither skeletons. Um, the, the, the nether fortress is quite extensive off this way, so we, we should be able to actually build some sort of like wither spawning farm area type thing. I mean, ideally we'd like to have, um, you know, little spawning platforms up high and then they drop down and you have a little killing zone so you can go around and, and, and harvest stuff at the highest possible efficiency. Um, but that's not quite going to happen at the moment because we need, need all the stuff. And as we know, in Minecraft, stuff is what's needed before anything can really happen. But hey, look what I've done here, guys. Um, I think it's this one. This is the one that I marked out. Uh, if I dig down here, we should be able to go and see the fruit of all my labour for the past... Oh, was it two, three days now it's been? Um, oh, it's a little bit further down than I remember it being. Uh, this is my new and improved 
entrance. Oh, alternatively, I could leave the screen for a second. Uh, this is my new and improved entrance. Blat. Uh, we're going to run up some some ladders up the side here. But more importantly, doesn't she look beautiful? That's my spider face. Uh, all the major elements are in place of the sp spider spawner. And if we come around the back, I should be able to show you what's going on. But of course you won't be able to see because it's like ridiculously dark in there. Hang on. If we do this and I do some like editing magic, hopefully you'll be able to like get some sort of high contrast, nasty look of what's going on in there. Um, I'm not quite finished, uh, obviously. Like for starters, the spawner box is missing its uh, sort of placeholder on top to stop spiders spawning on the top and just kind of like wasting time up there. Also, the uh, floor is too grippy. Uh, I need to replace that all with ice, which means trying to find an arctic biome, which is... I think someone's found one on the server, but you know, they're, they're quite rare. Like on this server, all we seem to be able to find are um, forests and plains and savannas. So many savannas and deserts. Uh, it, it, it's terrible. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's all we're going to do for today. Um, over here... This is, this is my mob collection point, which hopefully they should start flowing into. This isn't quite as great as it could be. Um, this, this, yeah. They're, they are stacking. They're stacking a lot better than they were earlier, actually. So, you know, it's maybe not as bad as I th think it is. But we're going to have to look into all of that next time, because I really have made an episode that's far too long now. Um, so yeah, next time we're going to be doing things like ice on the floor and fences around the bottom to stop them climbing. Uh, look, look that. Don't, don't want them climbing up there. And some sort of massive plan for what's going on here. So if you've enjoyed this, please let me know. Comment or like or, you know, even better, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.